Gregory Harrison here at Tippi Hedren's Shambhala Preserve in Acton, California. This beautiful place is a perfect starting off point for this special edition of Trilogy. Trilogy celebrates the natural wonders of the world by showing how they can be both enjoyed and protected at the same time. And in that spirit, we'll be traveling to three different continents to experience all the things that Trilogy is about, including my own rafting adventure down the flooded Macquarie River in the rainforest of Costa Rica, an unforgettable safari down the wild coast of Africa, and right here in the good old USA, we'll visit those intent on saving the California gray whale and other marine mammals. We'll also celebrate an elite few, both individuals and companies, who are making a difference in the battle to save our endangered environment. These days, the adventurous tourist comes to Costa Rica for any number of excursions. One of the most exciting is to take on her world-class rivers in a raft or kayak. Recently, I was part of a group who took to the rushing waters of the infamous Quare River. What was usually a class three river turned into a storm-driven monster of water as a freak rain created havoc for our unsuspecting troop. Oh, no, no, it's really safe, really safe, yeah. You're gonna take care of me? Oh, for sure, man, that's the idea. You've been down this river lots of times. A lot of times we do it, oof. And you're still in one piece? Yeah, sure, man, in one piece, you see, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, okay. Our trek through the rainforest was not an easy one. Crossing the stream, the stream was in the dense jungle carrying a heavy load of gear under a torrential downpour of tropical rain. But what was to come made it all worthwhile. We watched the angels build a fire Like sunken ships beneath the ocean We drunk in man This is the River Pacuare, deep in the heart of Costa Rica known for its treacherous rapids and its spectacular tropical forest backdrop. We're about to go down. Come on, team! Come on, team! Huh. Magnificent rivers cascading through lush, largely unexplored wilderness create many, many whitewater rafting opportunities with a tropical twist. 
But even in this unspoiled paradise, progress threatens to take its toll. This is a bleak image of what was in store for the Quarry River, a dam that would not only destroy a world-class rafting venue, but also thousands of acres of virgin rainforest. A group of rafting enthusiasts from around the world gathered to protest this impending man-made disaster. Some of these rafters came from as far away as Japan, Zaire, and Siberia to let their concerns be known. Not only rafting or kayaking on the river, um, but also, you know, people are made a you know, kind of human dam to protect, um, to making a um, dam site. Um, it's really, you know, impressed me. And, yeah, because of such a beautiful nature, you know. I don't know what's the reason why they need to make a dam over there, but we also have the same problem in Japan. To get everybody together from all over the world, here we have people from every corner. Um, it's been incredible because we created a, a campsite out of a sugarcane field. There has never been so many international people in this, in this area of the country before, I think. The democratic process was at work as concerned local people and others from all over the world gathered to blockade the Pecuare Dam project. It's not because they're going to destroy it and we are rafters that we're against it. It's because the government is doing as usual. Uh, they're doing whatever they please and we have to set, set up an example, a stand and tell them, okay guys, if you're going to do it, do it the right way. Look for all the alternatives and, and if that's the only one, well, do it. But just don't step over the other possibilities. The Pacuare itself is, is, is a jewel, and we all, I think, have absorbed it, and we all would like to see it protected, and we hope that it gets accomplished. But I think it's, uh, it's more general than, than, uh, than just the Pacuare River. It's a, it's a complete, it's, it's a whole planet, and everybody that is here in this, in, this, uh, in this festival probably can relate to a project similar in their own countries. This relates to the Katun River Dam that they wanted to build in our home in Siberia, and Jib Ellison, as the head of Project Raft, worked very hard in the struggle against this dam. I can now tell the American people that construction on this dam has been stopped, quite possibly thanks to our international friends. Thinking globally is a healthy philosophical approach to the environment and to music. Costa Rica is a world leader in its efforts to protect its natural resources. Over 25% of the country's land has been put aside as national parks or protected wildlife areas, while hundreds of thousands of acres of untouched rainforest have been marked for permanent preservation. Only now are we learning how crucial the rainforests are for human survival, from worldwide weather conditions to being an important laboratory for scientists looking for cures to global change. Take out people who've lived with this for 100,000 years. They are the lungs of the world. If you don't preserve the rainforest, we won't be able to breathe. Oxygen comes from here, OK? It doesn't come in cans. Well, they didn't even know that this environment really existed. I mean, they'd heard about it, but until you've experienced it with your own eyes and your own ears and the smells and the sounds and seeing the birds, you can't really realize what a jewel it is. But it's very interesting, especially the plant life here. I never saw in my life real bananas growing on trees. It's the first time. You can get a chance to work in a clean environment, and this is lovely. There's no wall. It's great. And you meet great people. You, you interact with them. You teach them a lot about um, and love for nature and animals and, and people and different cultures. It is like a whole big, big, big thing that you can, you can work with.
save it and use it economically instead of cutting it. You know, we can use it for beauty, aesthetic. You can go down the river and um, make money out of it, but keeping the, the rainforest, we can make little trails in it. We can educate people about it and still produce some money, economically make it feasible to keep the rainforest as it is. Costa Rica is a lot like Hawaii, say, 40 years ago. A lush tropical paradise is just waking up to the tourist dollar, which means that there's plenty of secluded beaches and lots of good surf if you're four-wheel driven and have a mind for adventure. Our journey turned out to be a reunion as well. Matt Adler, my good friend and co-star from the feature film North Shore, shared what proved to be an adventure of a lifetime. on the south shore, some of the group headed north for world-class surfing at Witch's Rock, a surf spot near the Nicaraguan border. Resources, tropical beauty, and friendly people will always inspire fond memories. Now I'm running, beating, sweating, frightened by the starlit night. Where 2,000 years before me, me and kings had sought the light. With bleeding hearts and bleeding hands, the jungle they could not withstand. State towers kiss the sky like foam soldiers. Chichen Itza! Palenque! Copa! Latiapa! Tarun! Chichen Itza! Palenque! We have your basic uh, Costa Rican fruit feast, and it uh, consists of banana, mango, papaya, watermelon, orange. A couple flies, uh, pineapple. Let's see, let me find a piece of there. We go. This is a nice piece here. Have some. Mmm, really good, isn't it? Mmm. Mm. Done. Whitewater rafting, sea kayaking, surfing, exploring. Costa Rica provides the riches of untamed rivers, towering mountains, lush forests, and pristine coastline. But with the proposed damming of the Pacuare River, environmentalists are asking, 
for how long? 